Hello YouTube fans, here again. And I figured why not, why not? I said to do it, I'll do it. And that being talking about the latest alien film, why not? Talk about my experience in the pictures, talk about the film, review the film, whatever. But I'm not going to do any spoilers, I know it's a later film and I don't want to ruin it for other people, why not? So, without a doubt, I remember doing Saturday Night at the Movies, who says what you see? I remember talking about this, being in that. I will be doing them again, probably at a later time, I'm not too busy. I'll probably talk about more things like that. But at the moment in time, let's talk about my experience of the latest Alien film. Why not? So I went to the pictures, I figured, fuck it, I have not got paid for work, so why not cheat myself? It cost me an arm and a fucking leg, but it's too worth it. I've got to admit, in the cinema, I've changed it a lot from when I was a wee lad. Well, I wasn't a wee lad, but, you know, a couple of years ago. I've definitely opened it a lot from the time when I used to go. And, to cut the story short, I told people a funny story. Why not? So I got my ticket and so on. I got a bit of pops on and a bit of snacks, you know, me being a big kid. And it took me half an hour to find the fucking film. Half a fucking hour the seats, I had the ticket, I had everything. And I went in and was watching you know, all the trailers of the late films that are going to come out. And I'm thinking, this is not alien. It's a totally different film all to death or what the fuck. So I got out thinking, what's going on here? This, these couples said, oh, it's this one, it's this one. Then they made the mistake. They what? They died decent. They what? They said, oh, it's most of us made the mistake, mate. It's this one. So it was C11. You no. Know, what they call it, thingy 11, the room I had to go in. So I got there, got there in the nick of time, watched a few little more tailors, and long be old, aliens come on, the new one. Now I've got to say one thing from the back, got to say from the back, from the people that funny story. Um, it's a 15 rating. Now people could have been, oh god, here we know, another an alien versus pet to push you out on the blood and door. But if this film is due, I did this film for some of the things that are in this film and for a 15 it was bitty balls there. it was bitty balls there. now I ran both for life and watched this review ran, <laughs> ran and I can understand it's not the best of films but I didn't think it was as bad as what they made it out to be but you know it's what makes the world an interesting place so like I said I think for a 15 it was a ballsy film so where can they go? Where can they go? So it starts off similar to like Alien, very similar to Alien. Honest to goodness, the opening is so similar to Alien. And you've got this one dude, got a feeling sort of like a longer version of Rip there. And you've got the idea it's like a safe economy. You want to leave, you've got a book. So it's sort of like it goes in this place, it's not like a job centre here. Really. And this woman sort of fobs her off, and she says, I've got three this, and says one of them androids, remember from Alien and Aliens, someone batters it, and she has a thing like a tip, and she can fix it. But she meets these lads on the way, they're all Brits, so cocky asses, but they want to high tap this spaceship, and they can make money on it, because she's down on a look, and she wants to get out of this place, she wants to get out of poverty. She goes along with it. I got me, it, it's very dark, it's very similar to like Alien and, and Aliens, it's very dark, but it's more like an honor, a bit like how the original Alien was, so I definitely went with that. So, they've got on this space staff, I like the way the design is, I think it's very beautifully done. One thing I do with this film is do, they use a bit of, they use a lot of practical, but they also use a lot of CD and all, but me, array, practical effects, I've missed them, there's, there's a bit of CD. And there's a bit of practical, so I can just to film that. You've got one pregnant woman in it, you've got this other dirt in it, and so on. I won't say what happens to the pregnant woman, but let's put it this way. That's why I say for the 15, this film is fucking balls. Eh? It is a very ballsy film. So, to cut the story short, she accidentally finds one of the bodies to sign that, and he's a robot, and they're trying to bring him back to help all these people out. If you remember the actor that played the android in the original, the original Alien, he also played in Time Bandits and he also played in Tarsen of Dave Stone, May Rest. They use a CGR of him. And I've got to admit, the CGR isn't that shit. For one, but for once, they finally got it right. There's a bit of place open his lips like that. And it kind of reminds me a bit of um, 
Tron the Legacy, normally had a longer version of Death Bids this, but it does look better than that. It doesn't look as fake, it doesn't look as false. There's a bit there and there, but it's up in his mouth when he's talking. It's off link a bit, so you can never go with the CDR. But I've got to admit, it was a good CDR for once they did it right, and they did actually have a CDR of him. And it was sort of a love letter to John Hurt, who we all know was the original guy that had the chest burst coming out. And it kind of reminds me a bit of Predator 2. Remember when they're talking what happened in the original Predator? They do that, what they're messing, they do sort of like do a love letter to Ripley Scott's classic, that being Alien. And it's sort of a bit like the Dame of Alien, you know, the tapped in the space circle, and you do get face orders in it. The only downside is. They easy batter them, they kick the shit out of them. And I think these are face fucking up this. How long did it get when you saw the original aliens when they were trying to attack people and then this? But I do like it. There's one face all through, it's dumped on this poor dough, and I do like the bit where they pull it out and they manage to outsmart it. And you see the thing come out of a mouth. And this is something else that's ballsy about this film for the 15. It kills the poor woman, and you do actually see a test burst or come out of a test. I thought that was a bit of balls. It bloody hit this poor girl's face. And you do eventually get to see the aliens in the Pies and Tora. They adopt the pregnant woman, but then they manage to save her. But then they make the mistake of the android is very similar to like the one in Alien. It's also to put a thing in her neck, which is an outdoing. And it does something to her. I'm not going to say what it does, but she dies a really, really horrible, shitty death. And you get an half human and half alien. I thought I had that idea, but it was different. It was unique. But I won't tell you what happens to a pregnant rise. I don't want to spoil the film too much. But for a 15, I've got to dip the film. It's definitely, it's definitely balls there. There's a scene where acid it's a dye. And it melts his fingers off, it melts his insides. So I'm thinking, this is a bitty ballsy for 15. This is a bitty ballsy fucking film. I will give the film that. It's very beautifully done. The planets, the space stuff, it's dark, it's slick. It's a very well made film. There's a lot of CGI, but there's a lot of practical. That is one scene where these aliens coming out of this fucking body. It's hard to explain before the, the pregnant woman has done what's done to her. An alien comes out with his thing, and I'm positive that is practical. That is practical. So there's a bit of practical, there's a bit of CGI. So I did the film that, I did it, it's due. So this woman who's not like the Rippy wannabe fights with the half alien, half human, it falls to its death. And she gets out of dodge, she goes to feet, and you get a monologue of her voice, which kind of is like a love letter to. Alien. So I'm not going to spoil it too much for people who have not seen this film yet. But it's very similar to how it ends in Alien and Aliens. That's what I'm going to send them out. It's very, very similar to how Alien and Aliens ended. And it's definitely a love letter to the original Tacit 1979 Ripley Stott's Alien. It's very similar. I then say I'm going to start doing a review on all of them, including the Tacit 1979, Ripley Stott's Alien, the director's cut, the Tacit being Aliens, and uh, probably do the Aliens director's cut. So I said that there was a, the best out of them all. Alien Feast sucks ass, we all know why. Probably talk about the later one. Talk about Alien vs Predator, the second Alien vs Predator, why not? I'll probably do a review of them. I know I've already done them, but it inspired me to do this. It inspired me, but where can I go with a new Alien film? I'm like Rumble for Life, who think it sucked. I've got to admit, some of the acting is a bit... I don't think it was a bad film. It's very well made, very well competent. It's definitely a love letter to the original one. It even opens up very, very similar to how... Alien opens up. So, yeah, without a two. A 10 star rating for me. It's not... i say it's more of a time maester. More of a time maester. I'd like to say for a 15. I felt it was a bit of balls there. Put into them. Be smart. Be safe. See you later.